Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. What we're going to have a look at today, flick through the pages of uh, a weathering book from Ammo. This one's on how to paint 172nd scale vehicles. I picked this one up in the Christmas sales and I've just had a chance to have a read through it and it's pretty good. So um, we'll have a look through this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to get updated to further videos. The subscribe button's down there. So enough for me, let's have a look at this. Okay, so let's have a look inside. So, we have this introduction to the world of 172nd scale models. Uh, some uh, manufacturers, Armafast, S-Model, Model Collect, Armada Hobby, um, Dioramas in 172nd, just like an overview. This, uh, this is basically the uh, um, index the contents you can see there's quite a few 70, T72, Panzer 4, BMD2, M1A1, Tiger 1, um, E75, and that's um, a Scud D, and a T3485. So, what it seems to do is it starts off re with the simpler ones and works into the sort of the more involved. Um, painting and weathering schemes, or at least it gives more details about it. So it starts off with a T72 on the scrapyard. This one's from Model Collect. And it starts off, it does things like adding PE, making updates, swapping resin bits. And um, so it gives you a brief overview of any of building the kit and any changes that were made. And then it starts off with the primer and works its way through. This one's lots of rust. So there's weathering, rust effects, and simulating those. Um, scratches, adding washes. And you can see that one's just a few pages. We go on to a Panzer IV in North Africa, and again do the build and then into the primers, and then starting off and then adding the uh, uh, sand colour and then washing it off and then adding more details and doing uh, washes, filters and then all sorts of weathering is done. You can see it goes through um, how to achieve things, lots of good diagrams, lots of steps. As you can see there's a few more um, pages in this one. On to the BMD2 and again, starts off with the build, then we prime, and then adding a camouflage scheme to this one. It talks you through um, the steps of adding a, this camouflage scheme to what is a pretty small 172nd scale vehicle. The real vehicle, I think it says in here, is not much bigger than a car. So it talks you through that, um, adding decals, um, talks you through adding um, gloss and satin varnishes at various points to seal in what's been done before before you uh, add more um, use of pigments throughout and then onto an abrams and with a upside down t59 uh, chinese uh, uh, type, an iraqi type 59 which is basically a chinese copy of a t54 so it talks you through those um, and again, starts off this one's got some extra resin and some photo etch, I think. And base colours, adding a native camouflage to it. And then just dirtying it all up. And again, more weathering and a few more pages. This one's then got more um, uh, work on the T59. And the Tiger one at Kursk, a freehand paint scheme. Again, start right at the beginning, work your way th completely through doing the whole thing. Tracks were obviously included, oils, um, everything is there. That's good. And a bit of filler, um, flattening out the bottom of the wheels. And then a whole process 
of adding a pretty complex camouflage scheme to this one and then weathering that camouflage scheme as well lots of weathering with uh, pigments and oils then do the same for the missile an E75 again this one start with different colors of primer and then building up a camouflage scheme using some uh, tape to give hard boundaries and different shades of the dunkel gelb to add a bit more um, interest to the scheme and then slowly adding uh, chipping painting details washes streaking muddy tracks and adding a lot more detail and rusting up the tracks and then all sorts of little hints and touches up to things and then i think this is the last one the t3485 start off um, add some photo etch to the build then prime it a camouflage scheme and then into filters painting the road wheels pigments then painting the tracks so sort of a recipe for those and then on adding dust as i said between the steps doing extra little bits yet more dust and then we're at the end and that is what is that then all the brands and products used are listed at the end so 119 pages in all so basically what you've got there is a series of recipes on how to paint your 170 second vehicles. You can use any one of these as like a, a starting point and just let that sort of get your feet wet as you sort of learn the techniques and, and then slowly build through towards the techniques at the end of the book, which add more and more and then start um, making it up as you go along and doing your own thing. So a pretty neat uh, book on how to quickly get some really good results on your 172nd scale vehicles.